I love my children. I wish it wasn't hard on them. But I don't have to make it harder by pushing negativity and all of those things that can happen in divorce. Welcome to Jay's Way. Thank you very much for coming and watching this video. I hope you can find it beneficial. Divorce and children. When I learned as I was going through my divorce process and started to have those feelings and emotions as I realized how much less time I had with my kids, that was a challenge for me. It was really, really difficult. And today, I think it can be very helpful for us to talk about that. I didn't think about it in advance. Maybe some people did. I don't know. But I'm a dad, and I love being a dad. I am just the type of person that's going to get down on the ground and play with the toys and, and be with my children as much as I can. I didn't anticipate the difficulty that I was going to go through adjusting to less time with them. It was hard. The thing that I want to stress today is how important it is that we give our children what they need through that divorce process. It is hard on us. It's hard on them too. And it's even worse if we don't make reasonable efforts to be as decent and respectful as we can with our ex. You end up in a co-parenting situation and you have to respect the fact that your kids still see both of you, okay? And, and listen, divorce is a complicated thing and I don't know everyone's situation, but I can give you my experience. I wanted to make sure once I kind of got through that initial phase and, you know, the shock of all the changes that my kids saw me being the best dad I could be. Regardless of what my ex said about me, regardless of how she acted towards me, good or bad, whatever, it had nothing to do with my own behavior. I didn't have to disrespect my ex in front of my children, regardless of what she did. I didn't have to, you know, put out any information that was negative to try, because that's their mom. And, I, and for my children, they need to see me being decent and respectful. Because no matter what anybody says about you in your situation, your kids are going to make their own opinions and they're going to form their own understanding about you and how you act and how you treat uh, the other partner in that situation. So respect that fact. Ooh. Give your children the best you that you can possibly give them. And that is going to help them to get through that difficult process and all the change that happens because of divorce. The point, the, the main gist of everything is to just do what you can to give them the peace, love, and joy that they need so they can work through that process and all those feelings and emotions that are difficult on everyone. It doesn't mean that I have to like my ex. It doesn't mean that I have to do anything, to be honest. But it does mean that when I'm with my kids, they don't need to see all that negativity. They don't need to feel it from me. And I think that's something that we can all take as a very important lesson so that the children can be protected in this very difficult situation. Peace, love, and joy. It's the Savior's way, and that's Jay's way.